What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to prevent weathering waves from crashing on startup or randomly while in-game. First, if you can access your in-game graphics settings, then make sure to adjust those first. Set the graphics quality preset to low or medium, depending on your system specs. Make sure to play in full screen mode if you can, as this helps keep a better frame rate and prevent crashes due to conflicts with other applications. Lower your graphic settings such as the shadow and special effects quality settings. When this is done, you can close the game. If you are unable to access your game settings because Wuthering Waves is crashing on startup, then make sure to verify the integrity of your game files. In the game launcher, click on the wrench icon on the top right and click continue. This will take a moment to re-download and replace any corrupted or missing game files. When this is done, Make sure your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. You can use the GeForce Experience or NVIDIA app to install the latest graphics driver for NVIDIA graphics cards, or use the AMD Radeon software. Next, open your Windows settings. Here, head to the Windows Update section and download the latest update before restarting your PC. Restarting will make sure the update is installed as well as any newly downloaded drivers. While in your settings, head to System, Display. Here, make sure to use the recommended scale and display resolution. This could otherwise also cause crashes while running games on your system. If you still suspect crash problems with weathering waves, then make sure to adjust your game compatibility settings. Open up your file explorer. Here, head to the drive on which you save the game on. Program Files, Epic Games, Weathering Waves, Weathering Waves Game. Right click the Weathering Waves.exe application to access its properties. Here, head to the Compatibility section and make sure to tick the Disable Full Screen Optimizations box before applying your changes. Lastly, you could try using Windows Game Mode, which will disable some features and overlays from other applications to potentially fix game crashes. Back in your Windows settings, head to the Gaming section and select Game Mode. Here, enable the Game Mode option before relaunching Wuthering Waves. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.